Is it on? Is it on? Is it on? Is it on? On, 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 on. I'm here with Bill Cooper, who is kind of supervising this whole construction here on the new Las Cruces Gate. How you doing, sir? We're doing pretty good today. You want to introduce your two helpers here? I sure would. I'd like to introduce Steve Zediak, who is the project engineer for the Corps of Engineers, and Steve Brunson, who is... <laughs> How do we get the I'm here with Bill Cooper, who is kind of supervising the Las Cruces Gate construction. He's got a couple of uh, helpers with him. Would you like to introduce them, sir? I sure would. Uh, I'd like to introduce Steve Zediak with the Corps of Engineers. He's the project engineer uh, on this project. And Steve Brunson, who is with ESA Construction. He's the project superintendent. Thank you for joining us. Tell us a little bit about how, the, uh, how long this has been on the drawing board. Well, this, this project, I think, has been uh, around, talked about, designed a little bit for about the last eight to ten years. Um, your new CG, uh, General Jones and Colonel Howe, I guess, decided it was time to do something about it. And I, and I really think it's going to add a lot to White Sands, uh, give you an appearance, uh, a new type of facility coming into it. We're going to uh, have it completed right around the 1st of August for you. Is there going to be like an official opening with all kinds of balloons and stuff? I don't <laughs> know exactly. I, I sure hope so. Uh, this is a project, you know, that's been 10 years at least, and it's... Uh, conception and then now it's coming into reality. I, I think that that would be appropriate for something like this. <laughs> uh, tell us a little bit about exactly what we're going to get with this new construction. Well, as you can see in the background, we're going to stand by, three, two, one. I'm here with Bill Cooper. Thanks for joining us, Mr. Cooper. Thank you. It's a pleasure to be here. You want to tell us a little bit about the Las Cruces Gate, but first uh, introduce your helpers here. I'd like to introduce Steve Zediak with the Corps of Engineers. He's the project engineer on this project. And Steve Brunson with ESA Construction out of El Paso. He's the project superintendent. He's wearing dark glasses. Is he pretty famous? Him uh, right here? I think he, uh, he <laughs> ought to be if he isn't. <laughs> <laughs> tell us a little bit about what we're going to see here and uh, just about the construction in general. In general, uh, this gate is uh, part of actually three little projects here. We've got the gate, the reception center, and there's a gate that's going to go similar to this down at the El Paso gate. Uh, what we have is a canopy, and in between the four center columns there, you're going to have a, uh, a guardhouse. It'll be an eight-sided uh, affair with, uh, with a little roof on it. We'll have some lights in there. There'll be some landscaping out in front. There'll be some traffic dividers here, and when it's all done, Traffic will go faster through the gate. I heard that uh, I don't. I live on Paul's. I heard traffic's been going kind of slow. Well, and and we appreciate that too. Uh, we're out here on a construction site. Uh, we've got a lot of traffic. Uh, sometimes you might get carried away building something and uh, looking at something and, and accidentally wander into a lane. So we really appreciate what the motorists are going through, and it's a help to us. Uh, and it keeps it safer for us, so we appreciate that. How long has this project been on the drawing board, so to speak? Well, I understand it's been uh, kicked around for about eight to ten years, and uh, uh, your commanding general Jones and uh, Colonel Howe, I think, decided it was time enough, and they had funds enough to do it, and it's going to add, I think, a lot to the initial appearance uh, of the post. Um, I really think it's a, it's a needed project, and I'm, I'm glad to see it's uh, it's coming into being. I'm glad we're playing a part in it for you. Any one of your friends here going to tell us about their new reception center they're building? Well, I, I'll try and coax Steve here to uh, tell us a little bit about what's uh, going on over there at the reception the, the center. The famous one? The famous one. Well, tell us a little bit about it, Steve. The uh, reception center will replace the uh, operation that the military police currently have for uh, vi visitors. Uh, the way we operate now, the visitors come in and park, and the guards do their thing uh, out in the open. This uh, new facility here, uh, will allow uh, air-conditioned comfort in the summer and heated uh, space in the winter of which to conduct business for vehicle passes for people coming into the White Sands Missile Range. Is this going to be kind of landscaped with some trees and stuff too? Do anything about that? 
See? The uh, the gate itself will receive some landscaping uh, right next to the guardhouse. Bushes and flowers and pretty things. Yeah, and it'll have a sprinkler system also. Is that what you're in charge of? Yes. In charge of flowers and pretty things. Yeah. Do you have anything you want to add to what they've said? No, I just think it's it's going to be a real nice. Everybody's going to be real happy with it when we're done. I think. Okay, well, uh, maybe we'll see you all when we come here and uh, cover the uh, ribbon cutting, okay. the groundbreaking ceremony. <laughs> Thanks a lot, all three of you, for joining. Okay, appreciate it. I'm Specialist Vane for White Sands Week. Two, one, cut. For ten. For ten. Should have done that. You should have done that. Think of anything. I just want to make sure I got that. 